Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Hearn MX Compound, which is a new track in MX Bikes that will be either released soon or already released. I'm not exactly sure what time I'll be able to get this video out to you fine people, uh, but the release date will be June 30th, 2022, which is uh, pretty soon here. So if it is early, uh, just expect to see the track soon. If the track is already out, I'll obviously have a link in the description for you guys to check out, or if you're watching this video, after the track has been released, I'll also have a link in the description for you guys to be able to check it out. But this track was done by the man, the myth, the legend, Hearn Visuals himself, Brett Hearn, who always does tremendous, tremendous work and has done for many years. But this might have been his crown jewel or his really just crowning achievement, I guess, in terms of track building. We're going to start off by showing you guys basically kind of the main track, the main national track. There's two national tracks, but I think this is more the main one. And I want to let you guys know in advance that I actually pre-recorded a lot of these laps that you're about to see. The next uh, six clips you're going to see are all pre-recorded laps. And the reason I did that is, uh, for one, I only needed to show one lap of each track. And I wanted the one lap that I showed to be, you know, like really actually a good, decent lap. Uh, for two, there's just so much to see on this compound that I had to get the laps in and actually like show you guys each one. So I guess for, there's three things here. I'm not that good at the game. So if I was showing you guys one lap and I was just doing it raw and I wasn't even like thinking about it or, or whatever, it would be a terrible lap. So we're just showing you guys uh, one like raw lap basically, but it, you know, I'm talking over it right now and showing you guys this main national track number one. Now, as you can already see, the level of detail is incredible. The braking bumps, the ruts, the, the, the corners, the sequencing of corners, the jumps, all incredible. The side of the tracks, the trees, the rain ruts and everything like that is also insane. But honestly, this track itself might be one of the funnest single tracks I've ever played in any motocross video game. It's got such unique flow to it. It's not like it's, you know, perfect in every aspect, I would say. But that's what's good about it is it's like imperfect. It, it, it surprises you. It has some spots where you got to go slow or go fast. And it's just such a good, good track. I wish I could show you a little bit more of it now that I'm actually talking over this as I'm going to cut the track right here because I needed to get one lap in. And I was sucking on getting one lap in. But um, yeah, I'm going to take you through these last little sequence of corners. It's just so good. It really is. If you want to see a raw lap of it, uh, we're probably going to put it up on our Instagram if you want to see that. Um, but that is basically one full lap of the first national track and the main national track. Here's one full lap of the second national track on the Hearn MX compound. And again, I don't know what exactly he's going to call these. Uh, for now, I'm calling them like track one and track two. But they're both kind of like the same distance. I would say that he probably put more work into the first track based on how much ruts and stuff are in it. Um, but this track itself is, is awesome. And... I think this track more fits the vibe of, you know, people that pick up MX bikes for the idea of like throwing whips or basically just having a super fast track uh, because this is a really high speed track. It's got huge jumps on it and you're going to see how big some of these jumps are as we hit this first table coming down the hill right here. But fourth gear, pretty much wide open, big table coming down the hill and I still didn't even get all the way over. It needed to hit a little bit faster. But then I love the flow of this section right here. High speed double into the back, some kind of uh, braking bumps over a little hill. Got to hit this left ant hill on the inside and carry some speed into this big step up and a flowing left hand corner. Now this section right here, I think is really unique because it, it surprised me the first time I hit it. You come up to this big tabletop, you know, pop off a little like kind of flick scrub, whatever, land in fourth gear and then fourth gear all the way to the top. And it's actually kind of like a quad, I guess, uh, a table and then like a double and you can clear the whole thing. And, and when I hit it the first time, I was like, dang, this is big. Um, but then once you hit it a few times over, you realize that you, you, as long as you get the first table clean, you can hit the, uh, the quad pretty easily. Then a little roller section down the hill leads you into U-turn back up the hill. This is a little tabletop. I love this drop down into a double right here. That's a really fun kind of flow, little roller, and then a big triple all the way to the back where there's like this kind of water tower thing. And this is a high speed fifth gear left hand corner into some uh, rollers, I guess like whoops going over a hill. And you can definitely hit those things really fast. Get on the brakes, try to hook that rut, but of course miss it because my talent in this game sucks. Down to the inside in this next corner, long flowing right hand sweeper. Brings you out of this to a little step up, kind of double out of a, a canyon, I guess. Another double down the backside of this guy. And this leads you into the final corner, so to speak, on this second MX track. Again, beautiful track, really well done. And uh, that's a lap of that there. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the Enduro Cross track. And I will say, I think the beta version that I have 
isn't fully complete and this is maybe one area that he still is going to complete i actually didn't really uh, i should have talked to him about it beforehand so i apologize apologies to uh her and on not getting the scoop but you can see there should there seems to be like there should be logs or some water right here but there's not it's still really kind of fun flowy enduro cross track and then the tires also do not have collisions again i'm not sure if he i think he's going to adjust that but I, right now uh i think the build that i have of it was just um you know a couple little things that he hadn't fully buttoned up just yet but uh, nice little fun flowy enduro cross track right there come out of this corner and hop back down now the next thing i'm going to show you guys you may have seen this before. This is actually the Midnight Supercross track, uh, which Huron released, man, like maybe a year ago now. It feels like it's been a while, but it may be less than that. Um, basically the exact same track from that. And funny story, you could actually have gone and like scaled through the rest of the Huron compound on that Midnight Supercross, but it was all black, so you couldn't see anything. So this is the daylight version of the Midnight Supercross. And like I said, it's basically the same track. There's a couple things different about it. Namely, I think the sand section has a few more uh, rollers in it. I'm not talking about the sand section on the left right there, which is like kind of a joker lane to me. I'm talking about the sand section to my right coming down the hill. I feel like has more rollers. Could be wrong again. Um, I'm maybe forget remembering things a little bit different, but the rest of the track flow is pretty much the same. Little triple triple out of the first corner complex, then up to the top of the hill. You double down off the top of this hill. Little triple to an inside inside outside option. I'm going to go outside here and then step on step off. Uh, there's a little barn shed thing uh, right in front of us that wasn't there on the the midnight supercross track, and then a tricky set of whoops which I barely barely get through because I'm god awful at whoops in this game but yeah it's basically midnight supercross but daylight version and it's right there in the smack dab in the middle of the Hearn compound so uh, a really nice track there now the last two tracks i'm going to show you i think are actually meant for 50s but i wrote an 85 on them because honestly I, I i couldn't figure out how to put 50s in games but i should ask somebody to do that i guess either way the 85 kind of fits the bill anyway because it's kind of a low speed bike and it's like i said more or less like a 50 track it's got a couple little small doubles in it um some wall jumps, a little tiny set of whoops, and it's also very, very close together. Now, I personally think the slow speed physics in MX bikes sucks, so this track is really difficult for me no matter what bike I was riding, but at least I showed you that. And then this is, again, like another 50cc type track. It's, it, it fits the 50cc really well, but it also fits the 85 well, so I decided to ride it there. And um, yeah, just small little jumps, really tight U-turns and stuff like that. Like I said, I, I just... The slow speed physics, oh man, they irk me in this game, but it is what it is. Gonna come up a little bit short on that guy, just trying to show off the rest of the track here. Then a little high speed roller section, another another high speed roller section, and uh, showing you a couple laps here on some of the stuff. So that's already six tracks, but we got more to show you, and I'm actually gonna jump back into the game and do a little bit of kind of like free roaming to show you guys the rest of the compound. All right, guys, so for the last part of this video, what I'm actually gonna end up doing is pretty much just doing a little bit of I guess kind of free riding to a degree, but not so much free riding as it is following these awesome trail networks around uh, this compound here. Uh, like I said, the first little part of this video was just kind of pre-recorded laps. And now I was like talking over it, talking about those uh, tracks that I've already done. But this little trail network thing that he set up, it's its actually not even like so much of a network as more of it's like it's a whole different track. It's like a five minute loop, probably even longer than that of... Uh, just like one big trail track. And I'm riding my 250F. I'm pretty sure this track is maybe meant for something a little bit less beefy. Um, you know, like maybe a pit bike or, you know, I could have stayed, I guess, on the 85 or something like that. But uh, I felt like the 250F is, is good because I'm a little bit more comfortable on it. And, you know, if I make a couple of mistakes, it's pretty easy to still like jump some of the little gappers that he has on this trail um and and accurate ad adequately show it off i was going to just pre-record a lap on this thing as well but as you can already tell like I, I just make a ton of mistakes and don't make it look very good to begin with so figured i'd just kind of talk you through it as i try to play it which so far is going about as well as i expected it would be but um yeah like i said it, it's basically just like one big trail track um i'll try to hit on a couple of the key points of it or the cool po points of it that i like it about it as I go on. Um, but we're just gonna try to hit our marks a little bit here. What's crazy about it is I feel like this trail network track or trail track, whatever you wanna call it, does the best job of emphasizing how like big this compound is that you wouldn't realize it is, I guess. Um, 
I don't know. I get the sense that this compound feels small when you're riding some of the tracks because it's like kind of, you know, tight and condensed together and, and it has great flow and all that, but the tracks are not necessarily massive, massive tracks. Like I've seen some compounds where, you know, they, they make humongous tracks to go with the compound. Uh, whereas this one, it feels much more like natural to the environment and the two national tracks that he included on this really do flow to like each segment of the track very well. But this trail track shows just actually maybe how big this entire compound really is and you, you wouldn't really i guess guess it like i said by riding the tracks uh because this trail thing goes on forever and you go to so many different avenues or different parts of the uh compound while you're riding it it, it just feels like almost never ending like it just feels like oh yeah i remember that like part of the track and where i am because like right now i'm kind of right next to before i guess what you'd call like the finish line table on the main national track like this last little corner right here and then to the right is is a big like finish table but i'm also kind of like in between the back half of the track as well where like there's like the hip triple in front of me and then the big floater step up as well and we're gonna kind of work our way back through that track and then go over to, I guess, like the second national track. I, I still don't really have like a good proper naming convention for these tracks, but um, yeah, I guess like it's track one and track two and we're going around the Hurin MX Dairy Farms, uh, yeah, big barrel thing. And then it, it actually says like Flint Water Company or something like that underneath of it, which I think is kind of interesting or funny. I'm pretty sure Hurin is actually from Michigan if I re remember correctly. So apologies if I got that wrong at any point before this, but um, yeah, that's kind of a funny homage to somewhere nearby, I'm sure, where he lives and, and knows the Flint story and their water situation well, I suppose. But um, yeah, back to this trail network. Uh, one thing that I don't know my riding is really going to show off very well is uh, how well this whole sequence flows together. Um, and I, I was probably smart enough to be able to, to do a few laps on this thing before I actually hit record because I think I would have probably blown a lot of the corners had I not, you know, pre, and as I say that I go right over this berm here, but if I did not pre-test the track or pre-run the track, I think I would have thought that, you know, the straightaways were longer or whatever. It's a pretty tight condensed little track, but it's also got a really, really good flow to it because, uh, everything just feels like it's kind of meant to be placed where it is to a degree. Like once you go through the section the first time, you're like, oh yeah, okay, I, I see why he did that corner or why he looped it that way or whatever. It'd be an interesting question to ask him and perhaps he could comment on this video. Uh, at what stage in this compound build did he add this little trail track? Because uh, if it was later on, I mean, kudos to him to be able to like squeak it in between the tracks and it not feel like way out of place. Like it totally feels natural to the elements. Uh, if it was right from the beginning, good on him to leave enough room for the tracks anyway, because like I said, I mean, there's just like almost no room. You're jumping over the main tracks uh, back and forth a couple times here in many different situations, but you're also right next to a lot of the main tracks. Like we're right above the Supercross track right now. And I think we're gonna kind of loop back buy it more or less we're also going to jump back over i think two tracks right here well, that, that's just the trail track but then yeah this is the second mx track that we're jumping over right there and then the trail track jumps over right there which i think we're coming back to that in a second but again it just feels like once you actually go through the section once you you hit a line or whatever you're like oh yeah okay i, I totally see exactly what he was trying to do so the next time you hit it you think you'd get it right but because it's such a long track i've definitely got a lot of the things wrong that i thought i would kind of correct from my first few laps around this little uh, trail track here. But um, yeah, I mean, the level of detail is absolutely insane to even have like, uh, you know, bumps and, and uh, ruts and stuff included on this little trail track when you could have just easily just laid it in and, you know, just had it flow back and forth. Like it, it feels legitimately like a great little single track. And this is a cool Easter egg right there. He's got like a a uh, scarecrow, but it's like an MX scarecrow kind of. It's not wearing a motocross helmet, but it looks like it, it did have like an MX jersey or something on it at some point. I don't know. Perhaps someone more attuned to what Hearn likes and does not like can give me a clue as to if that's like from a TV show or something like that. I, I, I personally am not a big uh, TV watcher, so I, if it's from something and I missed it, I apologize. <clears throat> but the uh, nice little added kind of bit to the track right there. Oh forgot that's like a little table and we hop back over the single track again and i think we're getting pretty close to kind of like the end of it here oh maybe maybe not quite and as i jump down to flatland on the mx track a little bit here we're gonna 
correct ourselves and get going this direction. Now, I think you can kind of shortcut to the right, but I'm going to just follow the main track up here and around. And then we come back down, jump across. And yeah, this is where the track kind of rejoins here with... I think there's like supposed to be gates here and, and perhaps once the track is fully released, there will be some gates there. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I mean, just tremendous job. Oh, I totally forgot about this. And I, I'm glad that I was able to go off of this little ledge right here and remember this exists, but he's got a figure eight rut right here. So if you're ever trying to work on your, your rut technique a little bit, which I definitely need a lot of help in that department, uh, good little figure eight rut right there to get you more acclimated to it. Now, the next thing I'll kind of want to talk about a little bit here is if we go up to the top, this is the starting gate for the national track, the main national track right there. So you can see the starting gates. And there's like this uh, kind of like, I guess you'd call it like a quad trail or like a four by four trail that runs around the backside of the track here. Now this trail actually goes through many different areas of the track and leads you to all the different starting gates of the various different tracks. So we'll follow it around. But this one actually leads you to yet another cool little add on to the compound Easter egg, whatever you want to call it. There's this garage right here and there's this JP speed van and you can go inside of the garage and there's actually a, uh, you know, like a, a vinyl disc player right here at the end of the garage. And it's actually playing the, the disc right there, I believe is the full album of uh, proper dose by a band called the story so far, which is uh, right up my alley in terms of music that I like. So, uh, kudos to her and for also listening to some great jams. And now every time that I play this track, I just like to imagine that he just jams out to a story so far while he builds this track and it totally fits the vibe of building a track to listen out, listen to some music like that. Uh, I feel like not many people watching this video would maybe know that band. Maybe, maybe you do. And I apologize if I'm like stereotyping the MX community a little bit, but, um, well, I think the MX community is a, is a community that should know that band probably better than most, I would say, I guess. And it's not because it's like in a bunch of moto movies or anything like that. It just feels like very uh, kind of moto vibe uh, to me, but uh, that's to each their own. I uh, definitely would recommend listening to it if you haven't already. We're going to jump back down the backside and here we are alongside the Supercross track here as we go through this little trail network, uh, which is still like the 4x4 trails here around the back side of the compound. And there's this little egg that actually hovers over part of the track over here. But what we've actually gotten to here is the start of the second national track. So if I went through this little first turn complex, you just rejoin with the second national track, which is that turn at like kind of last turn right there. And uh, yeah, I think he's probably gonna include some starting gates on this one, some starting gates on the supercross track and starting gates on the trail track, which I guess would be like the enduro track, right? But uh, pretty cool to have like this little 4x4 trail network that connects the tracks all together. And we're still not done because this actually goes to yet another part of the track that we're going to go ahead and kind of head over to right now as we get to the top of this hill. We're going to hook a left. Oh, kind of go a little bit chaotic right there at the top. Drop back down and just fly through here real quick. Try not to waste too much more time. So this is where you start when you load into the map. I think that's where he has all the bike stands set up. And then if you go over the top of this hill right here, there is a little bit of like a U-turn spot right here. So you could peel off and U-turn through that little, yeah, I guess just a U-turn spot. Uh, but now we're following alongside the right, the right side of here is the main national track. The left side is the Enduro Cross track that we've already seen as well. And this leads you over to the start of said Enduro Cross track. So that is pretty much where like the trail uh, network takes you. The trail track doesn't quite take you to these spots, I guess, but um, the trail network, these little four by four paths do take you to here and a really cool way of like connecting each spot because, you know, some people, again, if you're building a compound, you get to this stage of it, depending on when he built this uh, path and you go, oh, I just got to make something fast to connect the tracks. Like we'll just make like a, a pretty bare path, you know, like We'll put some decals over it to make it look good. But this is properly, he went in and he laid a bunch of stuff out. He's got a bunch of these little rain ruts and stuff that go through uh, each section of the track. And the flow from the the trails that I was just on to this little trail track as well, the Enduro, all of it is just so, so well put together. Um, a really good job. And the start of this one right here will just drop you right down into the 50 slash 85 track down here. So again, I mean, her and 
knocked it out of the park. This is an incredible compound. One of those compounds that I personally feel like I'll be coming back to a ton. Uh, really probably going to be doing some like video edits and stuff on it as well to make it uh, even pop a little bit more, look really solid. Maybe we get our whole team out there and do some some fun stuff on this. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have some fun figuring out some cool stuff to do on this compound, but uh, right now I, I'm still just kind of blown away. Like I've played this a bunch already because he was uh, kind enough to send me the beta uh, a couple weeks back now to just kind of see what it looks like and and to see what he's done, the progress that he's made, how much work has gone into it, the detail that is in every little section of this compound. It's incredible. That's why, to me, it's arguably the best, if not the best, motocross gaming compound I think I've ever played. Um, in terms of the level of commitment that he's added to each bit of it, it might be the longest hours spent making a track that I can think of. Um, but overall, just a tremendous job. And definitely something that if you're watching this video and you made it all the way to the end of it, I would highly, highly recommend downloading it and trying it out. Um, even if, you've, if you're new to bikes, there's still a lot of fun to find on this track. Have a good time and uh, enjoy playing a little bit of motocross bikes on whatever day of the week it is for you guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Got a good glimpse of what the Huron MX compound is like. As always, if you guys did like this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out as we're getting closer to that 100K mark. Um, and if there's any comments or questions that you guys have as well, please be sure to get involved in the comment section below. I'm happy to jump down there and try to answer or help uh, in any way that I can if you have something concerning this track or how to download it or whatever. But uh, that is going to be our little snapshot here of the Huron MX compound. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Really, really fun track. Definitely a lot more stuff coming from us on it. And uh, yeah, good times all around. So shout out Huron. Great job on the track. And um, yeah, we're going to send you guys on your way. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.